You know, Halloween falls on a Wednesday this year, exactly one week from today. That means a lot of people are going to be spending their time yep. carving those pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. It's the big weekend project, but here's the problem. Come Halloween night, those carved pumpkins won't quite look the same. No. ABC 15's Rich Dahlquist is joining us now from Schnepp Farms. And uh, Rich, on the way to the pumpkin patch, it might be a good idea to go to the pharmacy here. You know, you can pick up some items to help last, help your pumpkin last a little bit longer. A lot of people basically get so hot and dry, and as soon as you break into that pumpkin, they dry out. So you have an experiment going from pumpkin to squash, right, in a matter of 24 hours. A lot of people like to pump to uh, paint the pumpkin. You guys did a great job, but I think a lot of kids are, they just want to get their hands dirty. They want to really get into it, and they want to carve it. So over here, the Schneff kids, we have Grayson and Connor. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing great. Now, you carved this. I'm a little worried. You might need a hug or a counselor. A little sad face on that but what are some of the tips if we want to cut into these pumpkins this weekend what would you do uh, you just want to when you, every time you cut you uh, want to put Vaseline on them so you put Vaseline where you actually uh, made the, the cut where you actually cut so it doesn't shrivel up okay so it's kind of like a lubricant kind of a protectant you know what I mean and then the key is what do you do after that uh, you put a put it in a bag and then you uh, refrigerate it. So you put it in a bag and you soak it in water in a refrigerator you put it in the refrigerator or you can actually just leave it in the bag just show us real quick so this way, basically, it's a lot of moisture, it's cold, and so it's just not going to dry out really easily. So you can leave it in overnight or during the day, and then when you want to put it outside, you take it out, and you can do it to the next day. So you could have this last a couple of days, can't you? Yeah, you can actually have it last like a week or two, and then you want to put it in ice or your fridge, or you can put it in anything cold. Great little Vaseline and some ice water. Then over here, a lot of times we pull out all these seeds with the seeds. I just throw them away, but you guys actually have a good tip, basically, to bake them and have them tasty. Yep. You uh, set the oven about 300, and you put them in some salt and oil and stuff, and mix them around and put them in the oven for about 5 to 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes. They come out really crunchy. I like these. You actually use some seasoned salt. Yep. Those are really good, and they're crunchy, too. So just 10 minutes at 300 degrees? Yep. Perfect. Now, you guys got to come down here. Schneff Farms, they have everything. They have a roller coaster. They also have a little railroad that goes around, a train. It's beautiful. Lots of stuff. Thank you so much for having us come out here, and great tips. Back yeah. to you guys. Great fall spirit there. I like how the one kid cued the other kid for the bag. <laughs> Dude, the bag. Get the bag <laughs> out. Ahead. It's time to put the pumpkin in the bag. And the Vaseline, bag. too. Yeah. Yep. You have to put the Vaseline. I'm not touching it. Yeah, <laughs> you deal with that stuff. Lots of props there.